Welcome to the video from thedigitalize.com and in this video I'm going to look at these Hive products uh, Hive smart home system and how we can use them with their um, latest update to the app which has got an actions button uh, I'll show you this, the app screen in a minute perhaps uh, camera view not picking that up but with the with the actions you can combine multiple devices together to do sort of small actions so I think the kind of things we're going to be looking at we can maybe uh, enter a room and it'll automatically turn the light on or um, you can create quick buttons this is my hive home I've got a boost heating button on there as a quick action but I could have it so it gets to the hex motion it turns the light on or it gets cold it turns the light on I'm gonna you can combine these things together I've already got a hive um, set heating system set up uh, which you can I've got up and running already so I don't need the hive hub for this but this is what you would need if you haven't got any hive stuff at all so that plugs into your network on your wireless uh, you plug it into your LAN or onto your wireless and then the other devices communicate with it so my thermostat communicates to, to one of those I've done a video on hive heating as well so check out that on the digitallife.com so I won't be needing that for now but you will be if you're starting from scratch right so the first thing we're going to look at is uh, let's have a look at this active bulb first and then we'll see how we can trigger it from things like the sensor so let me just unbox this so the bulbs in there just a bayonet fitting and uh, now I'm going to go back to the app and see what I can do with it so on here I can do um, add a device so let's add a device so that's doing a scan now uh, for the device. So I've got a warm light there connected. I can rename the device, I can delete the device. So let's go back to my hub. Let's place a device on the dashboard. I'm going to put the light on there. Okay, so I've got my light on there. I control the brightness. Turn it off. Turn it back on again, and let's say I control, control the the brightness on there. I can uh, I can schedule that light to come on at uh, different times of the day, and I can do the actions that I mentioned earlier. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up this sensor, and the sensor and I'm going to use trigger the sensor to motion sensor to turn the light on. So here's the sensor. It's got a little tab which I'll pull out shortly because it's got a battery in there and included in the box are some little sticky pads. It's wireless, got battery powered so you can stick that anywhere uh, anywhere you want in your room and then you can then trigger it, you know, it can, it can pick up the motion sensing. So to add that now I do what I just did with the light, go back to my hive out, I'm going to pull out the thing on there. Okay. So now we can see that light on there and this is now, the app is now looking for that device. I saw a light flash then. Okay, so it's picked up the motion sensor now. I can see it there. Motion detected and so what can we do with that now? So let's, first of all, I'm going to turn the light off. Okay, the light's off in here now and I can go up to let's create a new action okay so I'll do a quick action um, so build my action so let's add a motion sensor action on there so when it detects motion I want it to turn on the warm light and stay on for 30 seconds okay and I've got the option of doing a when so I can say between these times so I could say only do it when it's dark or you know don't need a motion sensor going all day I can say only do it between certain times but I'm gonna leave that as that so I'll wait for that let's have a look at the high view camera so in here we have the nice little stand that's got a nice solid metal base to it the camera itself a mains 
adapter, screws, what's in here? Okay, base plate and the cable, necessary USB cable. And the plug part. Okay, let me get this fired up. Okay, so that's powered on now. I like how it clips on, just this, this magnetic clip straight on there. It's pretty cool. And there's plenty of length on this cable as well. So I now need to add this on. So I'm just going through the app to get that set up. So it's detected the camera, so I can just connect that. And it says it's enabling Bluetooth to prepare the camera. I guess it's using Bluetooth to, to send the setting over and then, you, then enable it via Wi-Fi. Yeah, it does there, connect to Wi-Fi. Okay, so the camera is up and running. And there you can see me putting the tablet in place. And it's got a good field of access, actually. Let me try and show it this. So, uh, it's a good field of view. A wide angle on there, you can see see a lot of the room on there. Why I've been doing this actually, I'm getting a lot of alerts through because I set up the hive to um, to alert me when there was um, actions through the um, for the sensor. So it's picking those up and through the camera as well. It's just sending me alerts about those as well. So there you can see the nice wild field field of view you've got. You can hear the sound. It's sending me alerts through. And I can schedule this, so I only want the camera enabled um, through certain hours. So when you say when you're at night, it's monitoring an area, or when you're out at work. So we've got quality settings. We can have um, 720p or 1080. We can rotate the image. We've got an auto night vision mode, and we can include the audio on there and the detection. We've got whether it can detect sound, people. Um, or off, so if it detects something moving that isn't necessarily a person, it won't alert you. Um, we can have chimes and notifications. Let's put notifications. We can do push notifications. We can do email. We can do SMS, and we can schedule them. So we only get the notifications when we need them. Now, what I can do is I can do an action. So let's add an action on here. I'm doing this on my phone. So I'm going to add an action on here. So when the camera detects motion, I want it to uh, turn the light on for 30 seconds. Let's done that. Okay, next, save. Okay, so the light coming on then. That was, I've just walked into the room and that was actually triggered by the motion sensor which I was setting up earlier. I was uh, just enabled, I enabled that before. So you see I've walked into a room, the motion sensor picked it up and um, it's turned the light on. And I've set that to turn on for 30 seconds so we'll see what happens uh, when that finishes. So that's the kind of thing you can have with this. You walk into a room and it instantly turns the light on without you having to do anything at all. No required touch of the buttons or apps or um, devices. There you go, you see it turned that light off now. I did forget to say that the camera is actually battery ba backed up as well so you can see <laughs> the light night sensors kicked in but um, and it's turned my light off as well wave to the light turn it back on and you hear the notifications coming through so that's a good thing that so if you lose power you don't lose connectivity to your camera some of them you do a black and white looking image and it's pretty dark in this room now um, but it it's picking up that image okay, of the camera. Uh, me now, of course, the motion sensor then trick kicks back in. Oh, sorry, the detection on the on the camera ticks back in, and it turns back into color mode. So finally, to wrap up, I'm going to look at these actions, and you see, you can add sort of smart ones. So I can add an, a light bulb action. So here, turn the light on when there's motion in the dark. So it can use the sensor. It's at night. It turns the light on. Or you can have the light on when there's motion. Um, you can have the light on when it detects motion in the dark from the camera. Or you can say dim all the lights when you make a quick action button on the on the app. Or you can have what's that one moving eye? Let's have a look. 
So that one is a quick action that combines things together. So that's going to uh, a quick action button will turn a smart plug on, so maybe it turns your, your home theatre system on, it dims the light bulb and turns the heating on. So you can really build these combination of, of, um, of sequences together to make your smart home smarter. So you could have the sensor, let's go back to um, say the motion sensor on there, so I can have a quick action. Let's add a, so the section the sensor detects motion, it can send me in a push alert, okay? Let's say it, detect, it detects a motion and it turns the light on. It detects a motion and then does some, it turns the heating on, so when you get in it turns the heat on. So the idea is, this combination of devices, including the, the hub, which is the sort of the main core component, um, it can bring it all together. So you've got like the light, which I've got on now, and you've got the camera, it all comes together with the smart home app and it's a nice ecosystem I love the heating I use this all the time I use it with uh, my Amazon device to control it and I guess we could use some Amazon device control with this as well so I got uh, my device to detect the light Alexa turn off warm light okay Alexa turn on warm light okay so there you go, I've got Alexa controlling the uh, the light bulb as well. So I've got all this together with the app, with Alexa, it all comes together to do your smart. Check out my, my other review of the active heating that I've done, and this all goes together to do a nice smart home for you. So thanks for watching this video from the digitallifestyle.com, more on the digitallifestyle.com and on our YouTube channel.